of course, tough when you already have a reigning player of the year on your team. Right. Here is Becker, the newcomer to the group, on the drive. Spins back to the right hand and uses the length to finish. Maybe is a little that, early for that for the that true sophomore. Until further notice. <laughs> but certainly went into the lane with confidence. Right, Kinsey lost it. Two on one the other way. Tension takes it and jams it. That's what the Hawks can do in transition. That's a new wrinkle to his game. He didn't have that elevation two years ago. Well, he went and stuffed it with authority there. Good pass. Steps by. in rhythm for another three ball. Seven of 11 out of the gate here. And their largest lead on the board. Paul, tough shot, but again, that's his spot from the elbow. Quickly cuts the deficit back down to single digits at 19-11. He's actually been with the Hawks now for two years. Had the opportunity to practice with the team last year. McGlashan makes the extra pass here, and Belai knocks down a three. Well, good extra pass, as you said, and Belai, that's one of his strengths, Ben. Just score the basketball. That's obviously been at the forefront here tonight, but he's a terror on the glass as well. Belai shoots over him and buries another. Just a good shot there. Offensively, he's improved in that area, in fact, since he's gotten here. Laput gets by McGlashan, but he recovers with a block. Relahan springs the break. Sir Yesen hands off. Tension rises and knocks down a three. Wow. Paul drives baseline, powers it up, and in. Feeling it now. Smiling, playing with confidence. Told the big man, think again. Webb to the corner, Tension picks it off, walks the baseline, feeds ahead to Paul for the jam. Hopefully we're still with you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the official came crashing over here, but crashing the glass undetected. Easy putback. Valley matching its largest lead at 14. Becker with a strong take, gets to the line. Well, he's been able to knife his way into the lane, took it over the shoulder there. Ball, Ball just betrayed him. Whips it out. Belai drives, floats. The finger roll. Timeout, Bentley. They're back on their feet here at Stoutenburg. Hawks as close as they've been. A good help by Relahan. Comes over underneath and challenges the shot, forces the miss. Chance to make it a one possession game. Becker, a three. Bang! Well, Becker officially making his St. Anselm debut, playing to this crowd. Between two Hawks on the weak side, rebound attempt. Good effort by Blust, big body down low. Pull up, tension, buries it. Tough shot. High arc, looked like Wright Kinsey was, was close enough to challenge, but just a better shot by tension. Oh, Mello Klein turns the corner and Jackson meets him. That's what he can do. Numbers for the Hawks, five on four. Tension finds Jackson, the up fake, the bucket and the foul. What vision by Tension. Yeah. And Big Zoe has a chance to tie the game. Well, he blocks the shot on one end. I don't know if someone else made contact, normally that's a travel. Giveaway in the backcourt. Becker gonna be in all alone. He'll take it for the two-hand jam. Free bucket there. Hawks will be glad to get it. Jackson did no. there. Just a second field goal tonight, too, Ben. Kind of an unexpected pull. Paul tries to go quickly, runs into his teammate, and still gets the bucket. A foul may be against Jackson. <laughs> Lawrence led the way with a monster first half. And that's going to be enough in the end as Bentley holds off a St. Anselm flurry. And the Falcons come away with a big NE10 opening win, 89-79, the final score.